Now, still an education of martyrs, public universities may be in for tough times as lecturers continue to live the system in droves for greener pastures abroad. Thereby putting the future of Nigeria's tertiary institution in jeopardy. The looming crisis, if not checked, will not only lead to an acute shortage of teaching staff, but also affect the quality of teaching in the institutions. Already, about 50% of lecturers have resigned from the various universities, while others who are yet to leave are also warming up. Factors feeling the exodus, according to an investigation, include the desire for better working conditions, career fulfillment, insecurity, poor salaries, inadequate funding, and non-payment of outstanding salaries of university teachers, which accumulated during the period of strike by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, as well as the hash economy, amongst others. Now, joining us live to further discuss this is President of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, Professor Emmanuel Osodeke. Uh, Prof, uh, one welcome to you and thanks for joining us on the news. Thank you very much for inviting me. Now, Professor Osodeke, uh, what specific measures has ASIN taken to address the factors fueling the mass exodus of lecturers uh, from Nigerian public universities and what's the implication of this? Well, this is what we have been struggling for over the past 20 years. That's why right, between most 2009 and today, that all that our struggle is about creating the environment where lecturers will be well remunerated, where they have conducive environment for teaching, where they can have some environment comparable to their counterpart in that part of the world so that they don't move out. But all our struggles have all been looked at by Nigerians, like the government, that we're working against the system. But we're not seeing the impact. We are seeing the impact of what the government has done. the last government and last Minister of Labor that tell professors who can go anywhere over the world to wait that you will pay you prorated salary, will stop your salary because you are on strike, and what have you. That is the impact. That is the outcome of those struggles mm -hmm. that we have. If you watch what happened recently, NIC gave a threat, and government quickly intervened. But in the last regime, we took us we went to Australia, it took us three months before the government reached out to us by saying, stop their salary and all that. So meanwhile, these are people who can work anywhere in the world, and we are seeing the impact. But for me, it's not late. This government can still do something as quickly as possible to ensure that those who are still here remain. To ensure that some uh, of those uh, who are uh, left, What are those things government. that you think uh, the stakeholders need to do, Prof, uh, to improve working conditions at career fulfillment and overall job satisfaction in order to retain them in the Nigerian education system? Number one is that there is a need for the government to sign the agreement, the academic staff which with government team led by late Professor Demi Briggs. That is number one. We have set to all these things. Nobody's going to look at it and sign. Mm. And if you sign that, there will be a government with more conducive to all the backlog of money being old lecturers as eight months, eight, uh, eight months salary, as uh, in academic allowances, to all be paid so that we give some background to these people to, to, to be able to work and to have some satisfaction too. Create the environment by releasing the money in last year, in this year's budget for need assessment, for, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the need assessment report, mm -hmm. to fulfill the need assessment report of the university from which 100, about 100, uh, 170 billion naira was in this, in this budget. To be released at first, but to create the environment where lecturer can go to work, have good offices, have good laboratories, have good library where students can be taught, not teaching 2,000 students in one lecture, a lecture hall, and two, ensure that the younger ones who are coming in are properly given an environment where they can have good trainings and they can come back satisfied as the, not what we ate today. We are sat today, the professor, after the reduction, you ate 370,000 naira a month. We cannot even pay half of you, but where? So that is where we are. There is a need for government to sign that agreement reach with the Dimitri's committee. And then we move on from there and start from there. So that is the minimum that they can do. Now, Professor Osodeke, um, what must government also do to mitigate uh, the factors contributing to the departure of lecturers, uh, particularly regarding the insecurity and the harsh economic conditions? Uh, would you advocate for an increment in lecturers' pay? 
You see, I have said it. The environment where the teachers are teaching should be secured. There should be laboratories where they can do their work. They should have access to research grants that will enable their do publication and they can be promoted. And two, they should have a salary comparable to neighboring, if not to the whole world, neighboring country, West Africa, in Africa. Have that select. Let you have from Ghana, from Togo, from uh, Rwanda, can mm -hmm. come to Nigeria to teach as we are going there. Because lecturing, university is universal. It is the same thing. Whether university in UK, university in Nigeria, university in Ghana, South Africa, they are the same. But when you have a university where in South Africa, for example, a professor earns about uh, 2 million naira a month, and the professor in Nigeria earns uh, 330,000 naira, definitely, are you so that the rest of the we have, they will move out. So I want to ensure that Nigeria, that this government should start by increasing budgetary allocation to education. Last year, in 2021, it was just 2.8, 3.8%. Uh, when the least country was actually give up to 50 percent of their budget to education, in the 60s and 70s, government give up to 20, 30 percent to education. So when we prioritize education okay. and ensure people have good access to education, you have you have better environment where people will not run away the way they are running presently. Thank you so much uh, for your time, Professor Emmanuel Osoroke. I would do appreciate your insights and your contribution. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.